Well, welcome back, everyone. We have Sergeant Anthony Kuhn from the Lima Highway Patrol in with us today. Welcome, Anthony. Thank you for having me. All right. So over the past five years, uh, there have been approximately 5,773 fatal crashes on Ohio roadways alone, resulting in 6,262 fatalities. So that's a big number. Absolutely. All right. So some of the causes, what do you think are some of the causes uh, for the fatal ca crashes? What, what, what are they? You know, driving off the road, unsafe speed, falling too close, failure to yield. Uh, there's a lot of circumstances that go behind those, you know, driving yeah. distracted, being impaired. Yeah, that's very true. And then some of the other uh, factors that were uh, posted were unsafe speeds, like you said, driving left of center. Right. You know, what would cause that? What do you think? You know, maybe it's... You know, just people in a hurry, either passing, you know, driving distracted, not paying attention. Uh, whether that be on their phones, eating, talking, just, you know, just, or maybe their mind's just not into driving, so. Yeah, I'm guessing the phones would be a big, uh, a big factor in that. No, yeah, absolutely, so. There's new laws that are coming into place, you know, with the new distracted driving law, that's really helpful, but uh, still a lot of work to be done, obviously. That's right. Uh, more than 34% of fatal crashes took place between the hours of 5 and 10 p.m., especially on Fridays and Saturdays. Uh, that, I thought that was very interesting. Is there because people are just ready to get home from work? or? I think during the week for the evening hours, yeah, absolutely. It's just people in a hurry to get home from work, see their families. And then Friday and Saturday, I think just the overall increase in traffic volume for traveling for the weekends. Right, and that's maybe something that you might recommend for our viewers that, um, you know, just to, to be safe out there on the road, you know, if whether, they're, whether they're a passenger or a driver, what, what do you recommend? Uh, just leave yourself time. Um, people being in a hurry, rushing, um, be patient, and obviously pay attention to driving and not be on your phone and talking and, or eating, whatever it be, may be. I know, we do like to eat sometimes on the road. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I bet with you on the road, you, you, you have your fair share, but you probably stop and eat. Right, you know? yeah. Now, if you do see a motorist that maybe participates in unsafe driving, are there, there is a number that you, you can call, and it's pound something, right? Six, pound 677, seven, right. That, that sends you to Columbus, and they get you to the nearest dispatch center to hopefully get somebody out and get the car stopped. All right, so is there anything else that you might be able to think of uh, just to get us uh, fully aware of our surroundings and when we're driving? You know, something that maybe that you've seen while on the road that... Uh, just, you know, just remain patient while you're driving. Um, leave yourself plenty of time that, that leads into it. So if you're in a rush and other people get frustrated or you get frustrated at other drivers that may be going too slow for your liking or yeah. uh, what have you, you're not, you might not have enough time to make a turn. Uh, and you try to rush it and you know, right. try to get there quickly. You're not really saving that much time by driving fast or doing that, those kind of actions. So. Yeah. Now, do you normally see um, accidents mainly on the, the, like the highways or side streets or what do... So most of our fatalities, uh, actually one of the leading roads in Ohio, period, in the last five years, it's been 75. So yeah. right through our area, obviously. So uh, that's just increased traffic. Volume speeds. and then higher speeds, obviously, yeah. people merging on and off the interstate. So, um, like I said, just leave yourself plenty of space and time. And yeah, all right, good advice. Well, Sergeant Anthony Kuhn, thank you so much for joining us thank today. Thank you for having me. Yeah.